guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's get ready for the day. It's Monday and I have a kind of routine at this point. Over the weekend, I always wash my hair. I pretty much always let it just air dry because it's the weekend and I'm lazy. So what I'm left with is I start, I start the week like this. Interesting. But I have this kind of go-to hair and makeup that gets me from this to the next person that you'll see at the end of this video. And I thought that we could do it together. The hair I'm gonna do lasts me like four days. It's so good. So I'm gonna do my hair first. Help if I turned it on, right? So I'm gonna do my hair, my makeup and my skincare. So it's gonna be quite a, I would say a bit of a meaty video, but let's start with hair. So my hair at the moment is 80% my own. I have great length extensions in at the moment. I think that they are pretty good. They're very natural in texture. I like them. I've basically got them for like an inch and a half more length and a little bit of thickness, that's it. So we're gonna curl my hair. I, I do the same thing quite a lot, but I just thought we could film it again together because no matter how many times I do this hair, I still get asked for a wee tutorial. So here we go. So I'm gonna section my hair, kind of. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a good amount to start with. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna roll it up on top of my head. I think I need to stop wearing these Harley Davidson t-shirts to bed because I actually like wearing them during the day as well. So it's kinda, you know, it's a blurred line between sleep and reality. The reason I like doing this hair is that you can let it air dry. You can see it's quite frizzy, but by doing this, it smooths it out and gives it a more regimented curl. So I've got my soft curl tong here. This is one of my all time favorite hair tools. And I'm just gonna start by grabbing little sections and I curl away from my face. I drag it down, I release the clamp, bring it back on itself, release the clamp again, get to the bottom of the hair, roll it up. And I really don't leave it too long before I pull the whole thing down, give it a stretch, boom. So what you're left with is a bit more of a, a smoothed out curl. I do this the whole way around my head. I already have heat protector in my hair. Um, I put it in when it was wet, so it's dried with the heat protector on. Please tell me that that works because I've been doing that for a long time. So again, releasing the clamp, pulling the hair down, rolling it back on itself, and then pulling down, boom. So it kind of it smooths out, like if I show you, it smooths out the end of the hair as well. I'm not taking, you know, super neat sections or anything, but this, it's so quick and easy. And it really is my, my go-to here at the moment. Again, leave it for a second, pull it down. So what you end up with is a loose wave. It's definitely not too curly. And I'll show you one more time, but when you get, get right to the root and then you kind of drag it down. So it almost, I suppose it almost straightens the hair. Pull it down, release the clamp, roll it back, release the clamp. It's this action, so you pull down. And then what you can do if you want just a loose wave, because I think it's, I think actually that kind of undone hair is the hardest. Now that I've curled all this, I just take a comb. Anything works. This is actually, this is the wet brush comb. Uh, I really like the GHD anti-static, but look, you'll see the difference. This is more smoothed out. I don't really do these bits until the end. Same. I actually do try to be more like gentle with my own hair. The extensions, obviously they can they can take the heat, but I, I do try and do it quite quickly. Oh, there's a wee missing bit. Rascal. And I do think that this works really well when you curl all in the same direction. So what you're left with is just like a loose natural wave that's way less frizzy and it takes seconds. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Beautiful. I'm just gonna do that. And see, once you get used to this technique, it is so easy. I actually, I, I was watching old videos. I actually think I learned this from Daisy Perkins. I was watching her hair video ages ago and she does a really similar technique and it works great. And I usually do it in three sections. So this is like my bottom section and then I'll do one around the middle and then usually all like my own hair that sits on top. It's like the kind of slightly shorter layer. I do that by itself as well. But I'm just gonna do each side and after I finish the whole side, I just comb it out. Cue the montage. So I've done everything apart from my fringe and I'm just brushing it out. So you can see it's quite like ringlety almost until you brush it out. And I think the secret is to brush it out when it's still warm. So it just falls into these like looser waves. Love it. Okay, so for my fringe, I'm gonna grab one half 
and I just get my soft curl tong and curl it away. Like look, boom. You do not need to do this for long. And what's really nice about it is it falls nice because obviously your hair will kind of flatten out through the day. Nice, all right. And then I would just do the same thing, get my wee comb. How much better? Now this looks still it looks a bit too like pe like perfect for me. So I'm gonna take my Davines Oil Oil. I can't even tell you how many bottles I've bought of that. And I'm just gonna run it through the ends. And this is what's quite nice about having extensions that aren't too far off your length of hair. I don't think you can really tell. Same thing on the other side. And I, I like to pay more attention to my fringe but that just makes it look a bit piecier, a bit healthier. And then a bit of texture spray. So this is the Hair by Sam McKnight Cool Girl. Barely there texture mist. I mean, I just like the name as well. The product's great. That I like the like the, the branding as well, but the fact it's called Cool Girl. Butterfly, pull it out. And what that does is it makes it even more piecey, but it also makes your hair look nice and wide. So I like to keep my hair quite flat up here and then wider at the bottom. Oh my god, like I love this hair. Do you not think, like see if you even just got a couple of bits and put it on. That's a good wedding hair. If you're not in a proper done hair. Love it. Another thing that I think is great is just to like flatten the fringe a bit. So I'll just put these clips for when I'm doing my makeup. And that took me 20 minutes. Which, you know, <laughs> the way I like to think about it is it's 20 minutes but it'll last me for four days. I would say that's quite a good. Tradesy. Hair done, let's do skincare and makeup. For skincare, this has been my kind of morning routine for quite a while now. I just find it really easy and my skin at the moment, it seems to just love it. It's more hydrated than ever, I think. So I'm going to start with the La Roche Posay Tolerine and this is just going to give us a really nice hydrated base. Then I'm going to use my SkinCeuticals Floritin CF. One, two, three, four, five. And I just pat that in all over and down my neck. Down my neck. I think I use a lot less skincare than I used to. I think I used to have a lot more steps in my routine, but now, yeah, I don't and it seems to be working great. Uh, SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier. If you're wanting to splurge on skincare, I really recommend the SkinCeuticals. If not, the La Roche-Posay Hyaluronic Acid is really, really nice. So is the Ordinary. I really like their hyaluronic acid and their serum called the Buffet. I'm lucky enough that I actually have I've done a bit of work with skin circles, so I have these products, but I will be repurchasing them as well. I just think they're gorgeous. But it's up to you and where you like to spend your money. I know some people like to spend it on makeup, skincare, clothes, like, you know. Pick your vice, that's what I say. So after that, I'm actually gonna go straight in with SPF. This is the Antelios 50. Give it a shake. This one's pretty done in, but man alive, it works. And actually, ever since I started using SPF properly, like every day, my skin has been better. It's been clearer in tone. I know that SPF's more preventative, but I wonder whether the combination of my other skincare may be reversing, like, or helping with dark spots. I know the vitamin C that I use does, so use your SPF. Use your SPF and go and get a smear test. That's my two cents today. So you can use a moisturizer if you want, but that for me, this is really great and lightweight. And I find that Anthelios is quite moisturizing as well. So really nice in summer, not too heavy. In winter, I'd definitely add like a nice creamy moisturizer. So now for my go-to makeup, I'm gonna zoom you in because I know you like to be really close to my face. <laughs> so there's my skincare all applied. We're gonna do our base. Now this is a, a lot of these products you'll have seen, but this is just such a good everyday makeup. And if you've been here for a while, there's a chance that you might have some of these products. So I just thought I would show you how I've been using them. So we're gonna start with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Wow, that is starting to come off because of heavy use. The shade 4.5, and you'll see it's like pretty close to my skin tone. And I'm just gonna use that all over. And this gives a bit of coverage, but it's mostly just glowy. And I do think it, I do think it kind of evens my skin tone out. I think this product's just brilliant. If you've not tried it yet, I really highly recommend it. And I'm just going to blend that in. I do, I think the combination of this product with a concealer is pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. Okay, so you can see it's just nice and glowy. And I think it works really well on top of like any kind of skincare I've done. See if you're going on holiday as well. I mean, I've seen a lot of people on holiday, so maybe that phrase is all right to say. Oh my God, I've got a mirror. It's making me feel sick. Wait, I'm going to take a picture just so you can see what I'm looking at. Like this is what I'm looking at. It's like a silly, oh God. 
No, no. Now I'm going to go in with some concealer. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, which happens to have lipstick on it, which is nice. Oh, I'm really finished this. I've actually got a few people onto it, like in my personal life. They love it, it's so good. I do recommend it to everyone. It's high coverage if you want it to be, but you'll see it just shears out. This is the shade 2.5N, which you'll see it's a wee bit light for me, but actually to build coverage, it's really nice. And I was patting that out, and this is gonna add the coverage where I want it, but it, the rest of my skin looks nice and like free of product. It's like a really natural, but perfected base. And you can do this with any concealer. The NARS concealers work really well for this technique. Pat that out. And I use a lot less concealer than I used to, which actually does wonders for polished makeup, but not too heavy, it's really nice. So at this stage, I'm actually gonna powder. So I'm gonna use my Laura Mercy TLSP. This little size is great, and it would last you ages. So see if you're wanting to try it and you've not yet, the little sample size, the little travel size would do you for ages. So I'm just gonna take some of that and I'm gonna sweep that under my eyes, around my nose, and around my mouth as well. Just my oily areas. Doesn't that just look like nice skin? Nothing too heavy, still nice and glowy. Sold. Sold. Okay, bronzer. I'm going to use my modern bronzer in the shade medium. I'm gonna go in with the medium one side first and then medium two. Sometimes as well, I just mix them together. It works really, really well. But I'm gonna go in with medium one first. I'm gonna start at the back and I'm just gonna start blending that on top and actually I haven't powdered back here but the product just goes on really nicely which was important for me when I was creating modern bronzer. I really wanted it to work on oily skin, dry skin, foundation, no foundation. I'm just building that up in sheer layers. I start nice and high at the back but then the closer to my mouth I get, I slightly drop it down. And what that does is it, it kind of hollows out my face a little bit. Round face gang, can I get a hoya? I need to stop doing that. It really works for shaping my face and I'm actually going to bring that slightly under my neck as well. And I'm going in with medium to it just to add that tiny bit of depth with the same size brush. You don't need to really change it up if you don't want. Nice, it's like summery skin. It's still summer, right? August is still summer. I'm going to go under my nose and then slightly round it just so my nose isn't disappearing into my face. And actually medium to the second shade in the duo is really great for contouring. Love that. Okay, blusher. I'm gonna go in with the Sunset Blush in the shade Sorbet. I'm just gonna go in with my same brush. And a little touch on the nose, but not too much. Yes. Okay, I'm actually gonna go on to eyes. I'm gonna do eyes next. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna kinda go up to the brow like over the brow almost, just to get a little bit of coverage because we're gonna use an eye wand to do an all over smoke. This technique is so easy. I think you'll like this makeup because it's quite glam, but there's really not that many products. I'm gonna go in with my eye wand in the shade Camel. It's a really gorgeous kind of medium warm brown. And I'm just gonna take that all over my lid and slightly up. And I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna blend that out, pat it out. And see the act of patting these, it blends them. <laughs> Look at that. That's like a smoky eye in two seconds. The act of patting them out, it help, it's like blending, but also helping them dry at the same time. I find that if I do this technique, I always get a seamless blend and it just does not crease. Really nice for every day. And if you're fairer than me, then this will be obviously darker on your skin. And if you're deeper than me, this would be a great eyeshadow base. If you are deeper as well, you can move into the slightly deeper eye ones for the same effect. I'm just gonna do one extra little layer and I'm actually gonna put that under my eye as well, but I'm gonna do the top first. To add a little bit of dimension, I'm gonna use the bronzer again. I'm gonna go in with the shades together. So literally got an eyeshadow brush and I'm just going boom, 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 picking up some product. And I'm just gonna start putting that in the crease. And because the tones are really soft, you can bring it right up so you can see I've already got the start of it. I think that this technique solely is what has really changed my makeup. Being able to lift my eyes just with one, like one tone. And it creates a shadow where there is no shadow. Again, just going right in at the corner. And this motion and using a powder on top will help set the eye ones even further. So it's a, it's a look that's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna do the exact same thing under my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with Camel. I'm gonna sketch it underneath. I think I need to make more of these eye ones. I think I need to make like a, like a darker brown. What do you think? And then I'm gonna go in with a wee eyeshadow brush 
and I'm going to set it with the bronzer. You don't even really need to blend out the eye wand underneath the eye if you're doing this because it'll just stick. I'm going to go in with my KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner and we're going to do some small flicks and I mean it, I'm going to do small wings today. I'm not going to make them huge, I'm going to do small wings. And I'm going to keep my eye open to get the angle right because I don't want it too high up but I also don't want it straight. I'm just going to follow my lower lash Quite like that, it's like a small chunky wing. I feel like they're small, I feel like they're small. I'm waiting till I've got lashes on. Okay, mascara. Actually, I'm gonna use the same one I've been using. I'm gonna use the Kush mascara from Milk. I really like it. The one's quite chunky, which I like for building up my lashes, but it's still got a point at the end for getting in the inner corner, which is great. So I'm just gonna start building these up and I'm gonna use a half lash because I think that, that is the one thing that takes this look from like very everyday to a wee bit more glam, which I actually really like. Plus, like I'm still on Zoom a lot, I don't know about you guys, it makes such a difference to the, like the size of my eyes on camera. So I'm just building these lashes up. You see what I mean? Really nice. And I am still using my Revita lash. I'm just obsessed. And I'm going to use this on my lower lashes as well. Really nice, okay, so my eyes are looking quite round, which is fine, but I prefer when my eyes, I've got a slightly more almond shape, so I'm gonna use the Vive HL2. These have already been cut and worn, but that's the whole point, you can reuse your lashes. So I'm just gonna glue these up and stick them on the ends. While I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, I'm actually gonna do my brows. I'm gonna fill them in with my Benefit Cabrow. I went through a phase for ages there where I didn't bother. I was just using my brow gel and that was it. But actually, actually, I do like a little bit of a filled in brow again. So I'm just gonna go at the tail. And I way prefer doing my like pomade first and then my brow gel. I went through a phase there where I was trying to do different kind of techniques, which sometimes worked. But see if you're doing a proper filled in brow, I just find it so much easier to do this part first. Otherwise, it kind of starts balling up on me. My brows start kind of going a bit patchy and it's not the life for me. And I've dropped down the front slightly as well. Give me that angry look, you know. So angry. See? So lowering the front and lifting the tail. So it's not super dark. I actually used the shade 3, which is much lighter than my natural hair. It means that I can go quite heavy handed and it never looks too dark. Okay, and then I'm just going to set it with the 24 hour brow setter and a bit of gummy brow. And I just think that looks nice. Love that, very like doe-eyed. And obviously because they're just like little half lashes, you cannot feel them on, so good. Okay, gimme brow over the top of what I've done. This is just gonna plump up the brows and make them look nice and full. I'm gonna do my little freckle benefit roller liner. Just love it. I honestly, I use this for brown wings sometimes as well, but for a beauty mark, I really like it. So I want to go for something slightly more 90s. Today I've been doing a lot of more pinky lips and I'm going to use the Modern Lip Definer in the shade Bark with the Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Treasure. This combo for a, a kind of like sassy everyday nude. A sassy everyday nude. It's perfect. So Bark first. I'm just sticking to my natural lip line on the outside and slightly overdrawing my cupid's bow. I'm going to slightly blend it out with Brat just to slightly change the hue. And for this to be the nude of my dreams, I'm going to pop treasure, mostly kind of in the centre, and I'm going to use my finger to blend it out. Do you know what I've just realised? My nails and my makeup really match today. Great. Oh. So you can see it's super fair, but when you get your finger and you start patting it out, what you're left with is such a lovely nude. Honestly, see when I go a while without doing a really pale nude and then I do it, I wonder why I ever left. I come back with my tail between my legs, come crawling back with flowers and chocolates and I'm just like, like I'm sorry, I'm sorry I ever left. I'm starting to get a tiny bit of transfer under my eyes so I'm going to take a clean eyeshadow brush and see if I can just get it away by itself. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of my NARS Soft Matte Concealer on the eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to target that little dark area 
this is just going to clean it right up and then to stop it from happening again I'm going to really powder my under eyes. Like, I mean with the Laura Mercy the powder is really nice and finely milled but if you were using a powder that was slightly chunkier it can really enhance like fine lines. So I'm just using a tiny bit of that powder and really buffing it under. That's better. Just to finish off the look I need to set my face with all nighter. I have all fun. Now that I've used my setting spray, I'm going to take a wee bit more powder and just do it where I need it. And you can use quite a bit, you just pat it into the skin. And then the piece de la resistance. I'm taking a little bit of skin dew, tiny amount, literally a, like less half a pea, a petit pois amount. And I'm going to take my fingers and I'm just going to pat with my finger first and then use the pad of my thumb to bounce that into the skin. It means it's seamless really. So tat, 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 tat. Pat, 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 pat. I think I'm done. Let me zoom you out. I'm going to actually go and get changed for the day as well and then I'll come back. Then it's a complete transformation, okay? Two seconds. I need your opinion. So I, I quite like wearing a shirt buttoned up the whole way. But also, right, plot twist, it's a t-shirt shirt. I bought it on a whim. It's still got the tags on it. I quite like it. Look, I've got tucked in with a pair of really like wide leg trousers. And I just think I quite like it because it's quite a conservative outfit. But I feel like the nails and the makeup, the juxtaposition of it all, I quite enjoy. What do you think? Should I take it back? Should I just send it back? So you guys, that is the final look. I hope you really liked it. I just think that this looks so great. I definitely feel great in it. And you know, it doesn't take too long. I think from start to finish, it was maybe, 50 minutes, which is not bad. I don't think that's bad. As always, I'll link all the products that I used down below. Please do let me know if there's anything else you would like to see from me, if you've got any ideas. I spent yesterday writing a list of all YouTube videos down, so I'm quite excited about the next few months. But apart from that, I will see you in the next one. Bye. We've been doing so well without barking. What is this? What is this? Is this a new thing that I've learned now that I'm 28? <laughs> Monday, am I right or am I wrong? I'm a bit warm, a bit hot and bothered. And I'd, I mean, I missed my face entirely there. I think I've just been matching my foundation to my skin at the moment. Proof of matching my foundation to my skin. What's that? You little rascal. I can see a dog hair literally attached to my fucking eyelash. As always, I'll link down. Bleh, bleh. But it was so shit. Oh, too much. <laughs>